What's up, I'm Jake, and in this video, we're running down everything that you need to know to get set up with Starlink. We'll look at what it is, the plans, hardware choices, mobile versus fixed location options, and current pricing. If you wanna beam your Excel files up to space or stream My Little Pony episodes down from the cosmos, we got you covered with everything you need to know. So what is Starlink? Starlink is a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites that receive and deliver interweb data between each other and the Earth. They're positioned in low Earth orbit to reduce latency and support high bandwidth data delivery. Instead of a couple giant satellites like that one, Starlink uses thousands of smaller ones so that coverage can be delivered all over the world. They use ion propulsion systems for positioning and they exchange data with freaking lasers. Sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Aside from a few countries on the naughty list, it's available all over the world. That means you can get low cost, high speed data in places that you never could before. But not, not there, that guy's cut off. There's a couple plans for personal users and a bunch more for business. Now the business plans get pretty pricey and the only difference is data priority, so we'll focus on personal plans in this video. If you are interested in business plans and hardware, be sure to check out our video on Starlink for Business. All the personal plans are month to month with no contracts and they come with a 30 day trial. The most popular plan is the residential unlimited plan. Now this plan costs $120 a month and it includes unlimited data at a fixed location. The data speeds are up to 220 megabits per second, but it is a best effort service, so that speed may slow down if the network gets congested. Since it's a fixed location plan, you can't take your connection with you. If you do want to take your data on the road, you want to look at the Roam plans. With these plans, you get the ability to use your Starlink wherever you want and even in motion. They're great for RVers, campers, or people with mobile businesses. Roam plans are the only plan that you can pause and restart, which makes them a great option for seasonal users like RVers. The cheapest plan is the Roam 50 plan. Now that gets you 50 gigabytes of data for $50 per month. If you go over the 50 gigabyte limit, you can either have Elon shut the data tap off or pay him a couple bucks per gigabyte for overages. Now, if you don't wanna keep giving Elon all your $2 bills, Take a look at the Rome Unlimited plan. That plan steps up the price to $165 a month and gives you unlimited mobile data. There's also a handful of business plan options, but they increase the cost by quite a bit and they only give you data priority. The top speeds and the data limitations are still the same as the personal plans. Okay, now that we've got a plan, we need to pick a dish. And all of this, of course, makes uh, me the first totally self-contained one-man mobile uplink unit in electronic news gathering history. Starlink currently offers six hardware antennas, but we're gonna focus on the standard Gen 3 and the Mini, which are the best choices for most users and especially personal users. Every Starlink dish except for the Enterprise model comes with a mesh router. So you get everything you need to set up a network right out of the box. The best portable option is the Mini. It's small and lightweight and it has the router built right into the dish. It uses DC power so you can plug it into a car or USB outlet and it uses so little juice that it's perfect for RVers or off-grid applications. The disadvantage of the Mini is that it's less resilient to changing weather conditions. It might lose signal faster than the larger dishes in a storm. Now, mini dishes currently go for about 600 bucks. If you're not on the move, a standard dish might be the better choice. These are meant to be mounted in a fixed location. They're quite a bit bigger than the mini, but they're also about half the price. Right now, they're going for 350 bucks on the Starlink website, but they also include a standalone router. Starlink also offers additional high-end hardware options oriented to the business market. Now, if you're interested in those, we cover them in detail in our Starlink for Business video. That's it. Everything that you need to know to get set up with Starlink for Spade Sage Interwebs. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share for more content like this. And once you get your dish set up, be sure to check out Nextiva.com for the best business communication and customer experience tools on the market. I'm Jake with Nextiva, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, man. It didn't go through. <laughs> All right.